Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to show you all how we can send data between controllers in JavaFX. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a tour of what I've set up currently. I have my main Java file. I have two FXML files named scene1 and scene2. I have a controller dedicated to each scene. I have a scene1 controller and a scene2 controller. What this program does currently is that I have a label, a text box, and a button. What I would like to do is type in my username and then submit it and pass this information along to the next scene and display hello plus whatever your username is, kind of like a welcome screen. So here's how we can do that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the name of this text field that I have set has an ID of name text field, but you can change it to whatever you like. And this button to change scenes has an ID of login button, and it's linked to an action of login. So when I click this button, it will call the login method within my scene one controller. And within scene two, I have a single label with an ID of name label. But like I said before, you can name these whatever you want. Within my scene one controller, I'm reusing some code from the last video on switching scenes, except I have a method that is named login. When I click that login button, we will call this login method. However, we actually do not need this line of code. Let's switch to the scene 2 controller. There's just a few things that we need to fill in within this class. So let's create a label that is named name label, whatever you called your label within scene 2. Name label. And I will inject my fxml document by adding that annotation. So let's get these imports. I'm missing a semicolon. And there will be one method set within this class. And let's call it display name. This will be a public method named display name that will accept one argument, string username. And when we call this method, we'll take our name label, set the text equal to, I'll say hello plus user name. And that is it for this class for the scene 2 controller. We'll be handling everything else within our scene 1 controller. So let's head back to our scene 1 controller and we'll need to declare a few things within this class. So at the top, let's declare the name text field of scene 1. Uh, so that would be this. That's that text box. So within scene 1, let's declare a text field and we will inject our fxml. Now, when we click on that login button to call the login method, the first thing that we should do before we switch scenes is to get the text found within the name text field. So we would like to extract that. So I will declare a string and we will call this username. String username equals name text field dot get text. So this will store the text found within our text field into a string variable that we can reuse. Now the second step is that we're going to create an fxml loader instance. So let's declare fxml loader. And I will call this loader equals new fxml loader. Then within a set of parentheses, get class get resource and the resource name will be scene2.fxml looks good okay and the next line here we'll set our root node equal to loader dot and use the load method and lastly, there's just two more lines. We're going to create an instance of our scene2 controller. Scene2 controller, and I will name this instance scene2 controller 
equals loader dot get controller. Okay, and the last thing that we need to do, since we're creating an instance of our scene two controller, we have access to any methods within this class. So all we need to do is to call this display name method. So let's type the name of our instance and use the display name method. And we will pass in our username as an argument. And then when we call that method, all we're doing is setting the text equal to the username that is passed in. So this should work now. Let's verify that. All right, enter your username. I'm just going to say bro and click login. Hello, bro. Well, everyone, that's how to pass some information between controllers. Basically, what we did is that we created an FXML loader instance, and we set the resource equal to our intended scene that we would like to pass information to. And then we created an instance of our scene two controller within our scene one controller. We used one of the methods found within our scene two controller. And lastly, we changed the scene from scene one to scene two via these lines from the previous video on switching scenes. So that's how to send data between controllers. If you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this code to the comment section down below. But yeah, that's how to send data between controllers in JavaFX. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.